He is known for his contributions to mathematics and his influential career as a professor at the Collège de France. He is recognized for his extensive research and publications in various mathematical fields. His name is Jean-Pierre Serra. In the small town of Béges, Pyrenees Orientales, a legendary figure was born. Jean-Pierre Serra, son of pharmacist parents, would go on to become one of the most influential mathematicians of his time. His journey into the world of mathematics started at the Lycée de Nîmes, where his exceptional talent was recognized. From there, he continued his education at the prestigious École Normale Supérieure in Paris, earning his doctorate from the Sorbonne in 1951. After completing his studies, Sarah embarked on a career in research, holding positions at the Centre National de la Recherche Scientifique in Paris from 1948 to 1954. His brilliance in mathematics soon caught the attention of the academic world, and in 1956, he was elected professor at the renowned Collège de France. This prestigious position would be his academic home until his retirement in 1994. Beyond his contributions to mathematics, Sarah's personal life was equally remarkable. He was married to Professor Josiane hewlett serra a chemist and the director of the École Normale Supérieure de Junes Fias. Together, they raised a daughter who would go on to become a distinguished diplomat, historian, and writer. Serra himself was not only a brilliant mathematician but also a lover of sports, enjoying skiing, table tennis, and rock climbing. Jean-Pierre Serra's legacy in mathematics is a testament to the power of intellect and dedication. His groundbreaking work has had a profound impact on the field, and his influence continues to inspire future generations of mathematicians. His story is a reminder that greatness can come from even the humblest beginnings, and that true passion and talent can take us to incredible heights. From a young age, Jean-Pierre Serra showed exceptional talent in mathematics, particularly in the school of Henri Carton. He delved into various fields such as algebraic topology, several complex variables, commutative algebra, and algebraic geometry. It was in the latter that he introduced sheaf theory and homological algebra techniques. Serra's groundbreaking thesis focused on the lure serra spectral sequence associated with a vibration. Serra's brilliance and contributions did not go unnoticed. In 1954, he was awarded the prestigious Fields Medal, becoming the first non-analyst to receive this honor. Hermann Weyl, in his speech at the award ceremony, praised Sarah's work and emphasized the significance of recognizing excellence beyond the field of analysis. This recognition prompted Sarah to shift his research focus. During the 1950s and 1960s, Sarah collaborated closely with Alexander Grothin Dieck, a fellow mathematician two years his junior. Together, they made significant foundational contributions, driven by the Weyl conjectures. Two notable papers by Serra during this period were, Fiso's Algebraic's Coherence, on Coherent Cohomology and, Geometry Algebraic et Geometry Analytique. In tackling the wild conjectures, Serra realized the need for more refined cohomology theories. He recognized that the cohomology of a coherent sheaf over a finite field had limitations in capturing the full range of topology compared to singular cohomology with integer coefficients. In his exploration of potential theories, Sarah proposed one based on with vector coefficients in 1954 to 55. Around 1958, Sarah's insight on the importance of isotrivial principle bundles on algebraic varieties, which become trivial after pullback by a finite etail map, inspired Growth Indic to develop the etail topology and the corresponding theory of etail cohomology. These advancements, fully developed by Growth Indic and collaborators in Seminaire de Geometry Algebraique 4 and SGA 5, eventually led to Pierre Deligne's proof of the wild conjectures. From 1959 onwards, Serra's interests expanded to group theory and number theory, particularly Galois representations and modular forms. His original contributions included his Conjecture 2 on Galois cohomology, his use of group actions on trees, the borel serra compactification, results on the number of points of curves over finite fields, attic cohomology, and the large image of Galois representations, the concept of p-attic modular form, and the Serra conjecture on mod p representations, which connected Fermat's last theorem to arithmetic geometry. A question posed by Serra in his paper FAC sparked significant activity in commutative algebra. He inquired whether a finitely generated projective module over a polynomial ring is free. This question, known as the Sarah question, captivated mathematicians and was eventually answered affirmatively by Daniel Quillen and André Suslin independently in 1976. Today, this result is known as the Quillen-Suslin theorem. Do you want to explore more scientists? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.